Okay guys, so this is my second luxury Christmas present to myself this year. I've already unboxed the first luxury gift and that unboxing video is right here for you. So check that out if you haven't seen that one. Okay guys, so let's just get straight into it. I got this from a Japanese seller and this is a vintage Louis Vuitton item. So I bought this from a seller called Boom Two Harten. The two is the number two. And this is a seller I've actually been looking at for a while, but I haven't bought from them. Um, or maybe I bought from them once years ago, but I think that was a present that I bought. It was a Gucci bag I bought for my sister, but I haven't bought something for myself from them yet. Okay, guys, so dun, 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 dun. can you see what she is? So this is a cognac -y color, so it's not monogram. Oh my gosh, okay. I have been wanting this since 2018. Five years, guys. Dun, 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 dun. This is my vintage Louis Vuitton. This is a Dragon Cellier clutch, men's line clutch in the Capango Gold Epi Color. It's a discontinued vintage Epi Color, Capango Gold. So this is not my favorite color, which is Kenyan Fawn. Whoops. This is not Kenyan Fawn, but it is very close. This is a more red undertone, and this is a more yellow undertone. And guys, I just have like enough Kenyan Fawn in my collection. And I only had one Capango Gold, so that's why I went with Capango Gold this time. Okay, guys. So this is a men's clutch, which is like the mini version or the shorter version of the Monceau. So here's the Monceau, which is a proper bag. You get a top handle, you get a strap. This is the clutch version. See how they look basically the same? Actually, it's not even a mini version. It's just a slightly smaller version, just a slightly shorter version, slightly shorter in the height and slightly shorter in the length and thinner as well. So not mini, but a smaller version. Guys, I have been wanting this since 2018, but at that time I was buying so many bags that I, you know, you only have enough money for X amount of bags. So I ended up putting this bag on the back burner saying, okay, well, next time, next time, next time. Then 2019, I was like, oh, bought some bags. And next time, next time, next time. And then you know what happened? 2020, 2021, prices were crazy. 2022, I wasn't really buying that many bags. And now 2023, I finally found it at a price I could stomach. Because guys, you know, you can always find the bag you want. Well, you can't always find the bag you want. But you can often find the bag you want at a price you can't stomach. And that's what happened for a couple of years. I kept seeing this one that I wanted at a price I couldn't stomach. Well, for the condition that I wanted, at least. And then what happened was eBay Australia, we got a promo code of some Japanese sellers. We got 20% off, which is like the biggest code we've had in years. So I quickly went onto the computer, checked my wish list, and could see what I could find from a seller that was participating in that promo code. And this was one of the items. Okay, so Epi Leather Contrast Yellow Stitching. Kenyan Fawn does not have a contrast yellow stitching, by the way. Kenyan Fawn has the same color stitching, whereas Capango Gold has a contrast yellow stitching. So if you're ever confused, you're like, am I looking at Capango Gold or am I looking at Kenyan Fawn? Because they can look similar. Look for the contrast yellow stitching. This is like the yellow stitching they use on the Vachetta. This is what she looks like at the back. No back pocket. Same with the Monceau. The Monceau also has no back pocket for reference. Side, bottom and side. Guys, I do not like Epi that's lost too much structure. This is a vintage Louis Vuitton clutch called the Montaigne 27, which I bought, which was a really cheap, like junk condition bag with structure loss. See how the bottom pops out? Whereas this one, the bottom goes in. And you can see the corners here are curled, whereas the corners here are not curled. So I learned after buying this bag, because I was just going for cheapest chips, because I wanted to hack the bag put holes in the back and turn it into a crossbody bag. So I was going like real low with the condition because I'm like, oh, well, I don't want to wreck a nice condition bag. But then I learned I do not like epi leather when it's lost too much structure. So after this, I'm done with excessive structure loss on epi bags. So now I have a minimum standard on how much structure loss I will accept and how much curling of the corners I will accept. If it is a bag that is meant to stay up on its own, then I need it to be able to have enough structure to sit up on its own. 
I'm one of those weird people that love bags that can stand up on a table on its own. I don't know. Are you guys the same or am I just the only weirdo here? Okay, let's open her up. The S-Lock. If you guys watch my channel, you know I'm obsessed about the S-Lock. They have S-Locks. My pochette Q-Rad has an S-Lock. And now my Dragon Cellier has an S-Lock. This is how you open an S-Lock. Very similar to the pochette Matisse one. Ooh, here's the wrist strap. It's a clutch, has a wrist strap. Okay, this is the seller. They have the little Instagram there. Okay, they're called Boom to Harten on eBay. But they're also, I think they're also called Dream Storage. That's what that says there. And then they have their Instagram there. I didn't know they had an Instagram. I'll have to check this out afterwards. Okay, guys, if you're wondering why I've got so much glam on, it's because I'm actually on my way to a wedding. I had like 30 minutes to kill and the DHL guy suddenly showed up. I'm like, I need to quickly do an unboxing because I was so excited. I'm like, I don't want to wait. I'm just going to do the unboxing before I go to the wedding. So if you're wondering why I'm overdressed, that's why. Okay, guys, this is the inside and she has the original keys. Guys, I, for some reason, was obsessed with trying to get one with the original keys. Obviously, having the keys makes things more expensive, and I couldn't stomach the cost of any of the Monsos with the keys, so unfortunately, none of my Monsos have their keys. But now, I have a Cellier Dragon with its key. So it is very similar to the Pochette Matisse lock, minus the fact that this has a lockable key lock. So, I've never done this before, let's do it together. There's the key, so I got a set of two keys with the original leather tab. Okay, I'm just gonna turn it whatever way it allows me to. Okay, that's about as far as it'll go. Now I'm gonna pull the key out. Yay, it's a functional key! Oh my gosh, for five years, since 2018. Whoops, it's still locked. Okay. I think it was just a bit stuck. Took a little bit there. Okay, so I always wondered if these keys are individual to this bag. So let's just do a test run. Is it going to work on the Monso? Okay, so currently this is not locked. I don't even know if it's going to fit. In my mind, it's going to work, but maybe I'm just deluding myself. Okay, let's go. Okay, keys in. It doesn't turn that way, so I'm going to go the other way. <gasps> it worked! Oh my gosh! It's the one key. Okay, I'm going to get my other one, sorry. Oh, my Concord. Let's do my Concord. Okay, Concord also has an S-lock. You guys, I'm obsessed with S-locks. This is like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is my fifth piece with an S-lock. Come on, if that's not obsessed, I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay, is it going to work? Let's go. This is why I was obsessed with finding one with a key. Because in my mind, it was going to work. Because I read it on a forum somewhere. <gasps> it worked! It worked. Okay. Okay. Yay! The Q-Rad doesn't have a key lock. So you can't join the party. And then lastly, my monogram Monso. This one had a terrible purchase store. It was a really bad experience. I'm going to actually link my Beware Buying on Facebook video where I had a really bad experience with this seller and I just honestly she just turned me off buying on Facebook she just when you're buying and selling Louis Vuitton you know when you're being disingenuous about your description it's locked okay guys so for anyone who was like me and was wondering for years and years and years does the one key open all the vintage S-lock bags I can't say for certain it'll open every every vintage S-lock bag but this one key that came from my Dragon Cellier clutch opened my other three S-Lock bags. Whoops, Paul Monceau just had a tumble. Oh my gosh, guys, how exciting is that? Hey everyone, and if we haven't met before, I'm Lady Vintage Bags, and I'm here to show you that you can not only buy, but even collect gorgeous designer handbags just on a budget by buying vintage. So if you love pre-love vintage or affordable designer handbags, then stick around and hit subscribe because I'm your girl. Okay, now back to the video. So this one, 
I bought because I felt as though the condition was great for the price. Okay guys, so you won't believe the price. This was originally priced at 245 US dollars. Like I think that's already a great price, but that put it at roughly 400-ish Australian dollars. And then I have to pay an extra 10% tax. So that's another 2450 US dollars on top. And then I got my promo code, which worked out to be 50 US dollars. Then that took it all the way down to 220. 220 US dollars, which brought me into the 300 Australian mark. That is such a good price for this in this condition, I believe. Like, come on, look at that beautiful interior, beautiful corners, original key, both of them with their original leather tab. Now let's check for a sticky pocket. Yes, I have a very sticky, tarry pocket. Just touching it, my hand is black. I'm going to have to tackle that. I'm going to just zip that back up because I've got to go to a wedding now. But that is something that I can deal with. That is something I can fix on my own. I can't fix structure loss and I can't fix curled corners. So you really have to pick and choose what you will accept and what you will not accept for the condition, for the price based off your own personal preferences. Guys, this is so beautiful. I, I don't even think I'm gonna hack this one and add crossbody straps. It's just, it's too beautiful. The condition's too good. So maybe I will, but I'm leaning towards for the moment, not hacking this one. I will still add straps, but I'll find a different way besides punching holes into the grommets. Maybe I'll look into getting a bag organizer and that having grommets and attaching the bag and attaching the strap that way. Guys, this is so exciting. This is my second luxury unboxing for my what I got myself for Christmas. But if you haven't seen the first one, I'm gonna leave that right here for you. And if you haven't already seen my entire Louis Vuitton collection, I'm gonna leave that right here for you.